Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, then welcome. My name's Christina and on my channel we talk all things beauty from my own experiences. So before you guys go, make sure to subscribe to my channel, like this video, and leave any comments that you have for me down below. Today I'm going to be sharing with you all of my experiences and thoughts on the new Say Glowy Foundation. This is their very first foundation within their line. It's very exciting. I'm going to be talking about all the specs. I've worn it a few times since purchasing it, so I wanted to gather all of my thoughts so I could give you guys a really in-depth review on my thoughts so far so it can help you decide whether or not you think it's going to be a good purchase for yourself. So let's get started. Starting off, you can purchase this foundation on Say's website as well as Sephora online and in stores. I purchased mine online at Sephora. There are 36 shades and it retails for $30 each. It's a lightweight serum foundation with medium buildable coverage that brightens and leaves a luminous finish blends easily for a hydrated and seamless second skin appearance. It does say that this is comprised of 85% skincare ingredients and then 15% pigment. This is going to be a very glowy, dewy, hydrated foundation. So if that is not something that you typically go for, if you find yourself getting greasy through the day, or you just kind of veer towards that matte foundation, this one may not be the best one for you. However, me, myself, I like to powder this foundation because I do have combo normal to oily skin so I do get oily throughout the day especially if I'm wearing something like a foundation or just makeup in general. I do live in a humid climate so powdering my face is pretty much essential all throughout the year so I'm gonna get a little bit more into that but before I do let's go in with the demo. So I picked up the shade number 16. This one is for medium skin tones with warm undertones. Tones. Typically, I am a pretty true neutral undertone, but I was a little bit in between some shades. But something really cool that Say did whenever they announced this foundation was coming out was that they allowed you to send in a selfie of your face like bare, no makeup, and then they would shade match you. And the person that responded to my selfie recommended shade 16, and I decided to go ahead and go with that one because on Sephora, if you guys have ever use their color IQ match I find that's a little bit dicey for me on the website they do match me at shade 14 which is also for medium skin tones but it's a peach undertone and I'm not saying that that one won't match me I do think that I could make something like that work however I'm really happy with this shade that was picked out for me you're gonna want to make sure that you shake this up because it is quite quite liquidy. I love the simplicity of the packaging. It really is true Say branding where it just has the large logo on it. With a pump right here, I'm going to pump a little on the back of my hand and you can see that is super liquidy, just runs down the hand like nothing. I did recently do my skincare, so I'm gonna go ahead and prep my face with the Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched Face Base. I really like this as a primer, it's nice and hydrating, and it gives me a good even canvas. I'm gonna be using a couple of other Say products just to keep it in the theme of this video. So I do have the Say Super Glowy Gel in the shade Star Glow, and I'm gonna be using the Dew Blush in the shade Poppy. I just picked this one one up the same time I picked up the foundation and I really like the shade. So they do recommend, since this is already a very glowy foundation, to only use the super glowy gel in places that you want to highlight, not necessarily as a primer for the entire face. So I'm just gonna do tops of cheekbone here and I'm gonna do this area cause I find highlighting there is actually really nice. And maybe a little bit on the forehead, just whatever is left over. With this foundation, I have tried out underpainting as well as putting the foundation on first and then putting on all my cream products on top. It works fairly well either way. However, I do wanna show you guys the full coverage of this foundation. So the only thing I'm gonna do is go in with a color corrector and right now I'm trying out the Ula Henriksen Banana Bright Vitamin CC Stick in the shade Apricot. This is also a new product that I'm testing and so far I like it. It's very slick. It feels like it has a good amount of oil in it but it does stay in place which is nice and I like this shade actually for my skin tone right now. So I'm just going to take this anywhere that I'm feeling like I need the color correction. So any blemishes, 
any dark spots just slightly gonna blend this out so that's all blended out and now i'm gonna go in with the foundation they did release a brush to go with the new foundation i just have way too many brushes so i picked one for my collection that i thought was as similar as possible to that safe foundation one and the one i chose is this merit brush this one seems to be just as dense the shape of it is a little bit different this one i think is a little flat and angled compared to the one from say i think that one is a little flatter maybe it's like slightly domed on top but it doesn't have that angle however I think the density is what's important here so we're going to be using this one today to apply the foundation so now I'm just going to take a pump on the back of my hand right here tap my brush in there get a good amount of that product and I'm just going to sweep this down the face and then I'm going to pat it in and just buff it in as well. Because this foundation is super thin, I do find that one pump is enough for one side of my face. Typically, I'm maybe a pump, maybe a pump and a half for the entire face, but this is so thin and lightweight that I find that I need the whole pump, you know? The way that it feels on the skin is still super lightweight, and it almost just feels like a serum. I think that this is a water-based foundation. Don't quote me, I've been doing a little bit of research on water-based versus oil versus silicone, and I think that this one is water-based. All right, so here is one side of the face with one layer of that foundation on. As you can see, it is quite dewy compared to my face that only has the color correction on it. You can see that there is glow going on pretty much everywhere, especially here where we did put that super glowy gel on. It evened out the skin tone really well. It doesn't seem to be clinging anywhere. I think that makeup prep with primers and stuff and skincare is key though when it comes to the way that it sits on the skin. I do see a little bit of redness right here on this acne spot and you can still see a good amount of my freckles but that is something that is very common with medium coverage foundations for myself and usually I'll go in with a little bit more foundation or concealer to cover it up a little bit more so we're gonna do that. This doesn't really dry down though it kind of stays dewy until you powder it but it slightly slightly dries down. It's very wet right now as you can tell. All right here is the full face with one layer of that foundation as you can see again lots and lots of hydration here let me actually turn down the exposure on my camera so hopefully you guys can see a little better what this is looking like so this is a little bit more of like what it looks like in person you can see lots of dew pretty much everywhere that foundation is sitting and what i like to do just to get rid of any like brush streaks that may have happened i'll just go in with a sponge and just tap everything in. And I think that this also kind of gets rid of any excess product. I find that this foundation is light enough to take it right under the under eyes and it doesn't look cakey underneath a concealer. Now I'm gonna go in with this Say Hydro Beam. I have HB3 and I like this concealer. I don't use it often though. I'm not sure why. I just didn't really have it with the rest of my makeup like it's in it's on my vanity and typically when i'm doing my makeup it's like in my studio when i'm filming so i kind of just forgot about it but i really like this concealer the only thing is you have to dip in after like pretty much every stroke because the doe foot doesn't hold a lot of product which might be good because if you're heavy-handed with concealer this might kind of help you out now this concealer does have a lot of like oily consistency to it as well so it doesn't really dry down the same way as other concealers do so i let it sit still but i don't expect it to like really really dry down i think i also want to sort of brighten up the under eyes so i'm going to take the rare beauty eye brightener in the shade medium just right here in the front and then blend that out all right, now we're gonna go in with some cream bronzer. This is also from Say, and this is the Medium Bronze Sun Melt. I really like this shade, actually. I didn't use it for a long time, and I don't know why, again, but I've had it for such a long time, and I forgot how good this is. So just taking this Real Techniques brush, it's like a slanted brush, the 241, and I'm just gonna contour and just bronze up the face. And then going in with that shade Poppy, just gonna take this on the back of my hand right here and then I'm gonna take a brush and then just kind of dab that onto the skin I'm using my rougher number four brush and I'm putting this 
all over the cheeks. Here's what the face is looking like. I am super dewy, so dewy. There's so much shine going on here. And that's not surprising because all of Say's products are very hydrating, very natural dew type of look. So they add a lot, a lot of moisture. And I do have the Say powder. However, I have the shade medium and it is just way too dark for my skin tone right now, which is really interesting. I am typically in the medium complexion. However, right now I feel like light might be the best option for me in the Say powder. So I'm just gonna go in with my Laura Mercier translucent setting powder and then I also have this little sachet of the translucent honey from Laura Mercier and I've been really liking this. I might pick up a full size. And I do find that again, because of my skin type, my combination skin type, I do feel more comfortable wearing this foundation throughout the day when I do set the entire face. So we're gonna bake a little bit and then we're also gonna just do a light setting. Here's what the face is looking like once I completely set it with powder. As you can see, a lot of the hydration has died down. However, it's not a super mattified finish. You can still see that I do have a little bit of glow like right around here I do have some in the center of my face like a little bit on the tops of the cheeks and stuff but overall this is the finish that I prefer with any foundation that I wear knowing that my skin does get oily throughout the day I think that everything is sitting well together nothing looks cakey nothing is blotchy nothing is like you know being accentuated I feel like this foundation is sitting pretty well. So I'm gonna go ahead and spritz the face with a little bit of MAC Fix Plus, and then if I have to touch up with any powder, I will, and then we'll set the face. And I'm also going to do my eye makeup, so I'll be right back after I do that to talk about all of my final thoughts. All right, I am back, and here is the full face of makeup. I went ahead, did my eyes, added a lip combo, um, I set the face and all of that stuff. So now we're gonna talk about all of my final thoughts after wearing this foundation for a couple of days and showing you guys that demo. As you can see, this foundation is all about the hydration, the glow, the dewy look, all of that stuff. Obviously, if you are not into that look, then maybe this foundation is not the right one for you. I did mention, and as you guys saw, I do set my face down to pretty much like a natural matte finish. I don't let my skin stay that hydrated throughout the day. If I want the foundation to last, I definitely have to set with powder and then I set with the setting spray to kind of just like get everything to sit nicely especially the powder on top of the foundation and that's kind of like something I do with pretty much every foundation that I wear like I mentioned I do live in a more humid environment so I have to set my face if I want it to last with my type of skin if you tend to have a really dry skin I think this foundation is going to be the best foundation for you it feels really nice and serumy it has really great Great pigmentation as far as the weightless feel claim goes I wouldn't say that this feels weightless the reason I say that isn't because it feels like a heavy cakey really thick foundation in the classic traditional sense it's because this almost feels like an oil-based serum on the skin so it feels like you have some sort of like skincare on the skin so you definitely feel it in that sense if you don't set it with powder this foundation is not going to dry down on its own which it doesn't claim to so I just want to put that out there so you definitely still feel that hydration if that is something that you're used to it's going to feel just like you did a skincare routine honestly and you can go in with way less foundation than I did I went in with two pumps for the full face that is a lot more than I typically go for to be honest usually I go for maybe a pump a pump and a half you know but for this I feel Feel like it's so lightweight that I can build that coverage onto the skin and it looks really good and it feels really nice especially under powder as far as longevity goes I've worn this foundation for six plus hours the times that I've worn it the last couple of days and I think that it sits pretty well on the skin I do get a little bit oily in the t-zone but it's nothing that I feel like I have to go in with a blotting sheet or powder or anything I actually enjoy the way that this foundation looks once my foundation has set and as as the day progresses the oils come through because I feel like it's not excessively oily if you're looking for something that is thin that is kind of like I would say the Ilia skin tint this reminds
reminds me of an Ilias skin tint, but I actually like the coverage and the way that this sits on the face even more. And the Ilias skin tint, I think, has even more of that serum-y finish, so it looks even more shiny. So if that's something that you don't like about that, which I know a lot of people don't like how dewy that one looks on the skin, I feel like that this one is really versatile because you can get the coverage that a foundation will give you, but you also still get that really thin texture on the skin. I definitely think that this foundation is geared more towards those that have normal to dry skin types. If you do have a combination or oily skin type like I do, I definitely think that it's necessary to set it with a powder. I don't think that this is the type of foundation that's going to set itself. It's not going to dry down, you know. I will say that I used to have really dry skin back in the day whenever I was on birth control and it like dried my skin out. I had really flaky, really like tight skin and this foundation is the type of foundation that I would have loved to have to wear every day. I feel like that is something that people with dry skin, you can just buff this on to the skin and maybe just set the under eyes and be good to go however again for me now and my skin type now i definitely think that it's necessary to powder it but i really do enjoy the finish of this for 40 dollars, that is pretty pricey in my opinion i don't know if 40 is going to be the new norm though because it seems like all foundations are getting hiked up in price so for me I don't know. It, it it's very it's very dicey. I can see it being forty dollars because of all of the skincare ingredients that are in it, you know. But I don't know. That's a lot. So that's up to you guys if you think it's gonna be worth it. I think that is everything for this video. If I missed anything, let me know in the comments down below. Also, if you have any questions for me, let me know in the comments down below. I will be checking those and I do try my best to reply to everyone's comments, but I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I hope that it was helpful for you. Let me know if this foundation is something that you are planning on picking up or if it's something that you are gonna be passing on. I would love to know. If you guys enjoyed this video, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos like this one one and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!